Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Manifest at Vanessa on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Gaia. That is my Twitter, TikTok, podcast, and Instagram. All the links are down below and my affirmations list and audio rant page email is down below. And today we're going to be talking about manifesting an SP A to Z because I felt like I don't have one general video about an SP. I have like one about undesired behavior and I have one like, oh, if you're still struggling, but I don't have one breaking it down, breaking concepts, you know, talking about it. Like I have some for, I have one for money. I have one for jobs. I have one for appearance change. I have one i have a couple for grades but not this so manifesting a specific person a to z there are certain concepts i'm gonna be going over that i already have videos on and i'm gonna link them all here so some of them you're gonna have to like you can either watch this and then watch them or watch the ones that are listed and then come back here whatever you want to do but there are concepts that you have to understand so the first thing that is most important i don't care what type of sp you want i don't care what you want to happen between you guys i don't care what the old story was i don't care if it's somebody from thin air i already have a video on how to manifest anything from thin air i don't care if it's an ex i don't care if it was a friends with benefits you want commitment i don't care if it's your friend and you want commitment i don't care if you've only seen them once and you never got a number or a contact i've done that and i've manifested them even though i've only ever seen them um i don't care what it is like there are no limits there are no limits but before i even get into that is you have to understand you are not separate from the world outside of you there is no outside of you you are literally experiencing your own thoughts your own stories you are experiencing the stories you have of love of yourself of the person of people around you of your dating life you're just experiencing that because perception is reality okay this is going to be a difficult process if you view it as i'm trying to make them be something i need them to be this person so i feel regulated so i feel worthy i feel chosen you are not going to have a good time doing this you are not waiting for physical reality to validate something you don't think you are because if reality is the stories you have and you do not have the story that your love wanted and chosen and you're seeking you're looking in the mirror and wanting it to show you a completely different outfit but you're not giving that outfit to yourself you're not putting it on how are you going to see it that is thing number one everybody is you pushed out people are just messengers telling you who you're being internally so anything you want to happen in your love life with your specific person you have to not just tell yourself you're happening because it's not enough to tell yourself because people just be telling themselves telling themselves telling themselves then they're exhausted because they're telling themselves because they're trying to force their three-dimensional reality to be different that's not how it works because when that's you you're operating through separation and when you guys operate through separation it basically just means you have this person on a pedestal you have outside of you on a pedestal and you're down here and you're not in control which is never true but you're not in control you need it to change they're not changing and you're thinking in accordance with your own mind instead of transcending circumstances and thinking about them how you want them to be not how they were not how they are but how you want them to be and then from that point then you start telling yourself so step number one my personal favorite thing is self-concept self concept is how worthy powerful capable valuable you see yourself of being able to have be and do what you want how worthy powerful capable do you think you are of having your sp a lot of you zero how worthy and capable do you think you are of having the love of your dreams of having a good dating life of only meeting amazing people generous men tall men pretty women women that love you for you like whatever it is most of you zero how worthy capable powerful you see yourself of being able to be do have what you want and also sustain that change in your reality because a lot of y'all will manifest in sps with low soft concept because it's not a necessity it's not a necessity to manifest but it's one of the bare necessities of manifestation because your identity is what creates the stories you have about self and about the world around you but a lot of people may manifest their sp or may get movement but because they still see themselves here when it comes to do i really think i can have this person or do i really think this person sees me as the most beautiful person or do i really think this person forgives me for what i did in the past a lot of y'all are at zero with that so then they come in and you get triggered because 3d is going against your dominant beliefs and your subconscious mind likes to defend the beliefs that it holds dominant so if you believe they could never love me or they don't find me attractive or i will never be the one for anybody i'm not good enough 
and somebody comes in and is denying that in front of your face right a lot of you have been in the situation they're showing up amazingly giving you what you want you will have no choice but to sabotage it so that it matches your self-concept that says you are not good enough you are never wanted and chosen because the mind subconscious mind does not like anything that goes against its beliefs and beliefs are just repeated thoughts slash stories. So you are in control of your beliefs, but that is what you are changing. Everybody's you pushed out means people are my assumptions of them. So this is not a journey about getting any one person to change two people. I don't care. I don't care how many people it is. It's the same. And I don't care if it's just general. I don't care if it's just your dating life in general. This is not a process of getting people to do this for you. This is just a process of changing the stories that says it's not the way you want it to be in your own mind and accepting that this person or this area of your life which is love in this aspect is the way you want it to be self-concept how do we change that well there are many 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 ways so the two i'm going to be talking about number one creating a new identity or avatar and number two doing a technique to reinforce that identity or avatar so what i mean by creating this new identity i want you to close your eyes and i want you to imagine yourself with everything you want if you want a specific person not just them texting or calling you because if you were in a relationship with them that would be normal this is just a project of you not thinking you're in control not thinking you're good enough that's why you go for these little things when in reality you want full commitment so we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna imagine ourselves with everything so you already passed the text and calls you already got asked to be their partner you're already going on dates with them they've already met your family y'all have already gone on vacation y'all already doing xyz everything that you ever want to do with them start imagining that right so that version of you again this is why i said there's no separation there's no separation between you and your person there's no separation between you and the person you are as the version of them that is with them it is going to be this current day body of you experiencing that okay you, you are the person who is experiencing that because it is you your desires are not separate from you so when you think of you in that situation being that person having that reality living that life okay what thoughts are do you associate with this person what do they think about their person what do they think about themselves right they feel fulfilled they feel loved they feel amazing not because they're in the relationship with this person but because they felt like that before the person even came in right because they finally understood it was me all along there's nothing i had to do the person is obsessed with you regardless right the person has always been obsessed with me because that's one principle that's really important your person wants to be with you they already want to contact you they already want to talk to you that's why i said you're not making them do anything because the things that you want to see them doing they already want to do the only reason they're not doing it is because you say they're not doing it it's because you are more powerful than them because they are just reflecting your own stories so when you say i want sp to do this and they're not and they're stubborn or we're in no contact xyz they want to not be in no contact as much as that. you don't want to be in no contact but you keep slamming them with this story and because they're you pushed out a version of them that matches the story that you keep telling has shown your reality which is the no contact version of them which is a stubborn version of them so when you see this person what are their thoughts about themselves what are their thoughts about their sp they're not saying oh i have the worst sp my sp is so stubborn i'm out of contact with my person they blocked me they don't want to talk to me they're talking to other girls they're looking at other guys you're not thinking that so in return they're not doing that so you see how in order to have that version of them that you want you have to become a different version of you because a lot of you want to receive something as a version of you who doesn't think it's attainable doesn't think they can have it you want to complain about the old version no you just saw that version of you or you just brainstormed that version of you you know if you had sp because a lot of you guys ask oh well how do i act if they're not here i don't know i don't know you know very well you would not be thinking the things you're thinking you would not be saying the things you're saying you would not be behaving the way you are you would not feel as hopeless as you did you would not have the attitudes that you do now if you were with that person and you know that very well so the only thing that separates you from that person from that reality is your mindset you are not equipped with the mindset you would have if you were that person so you have how they view themselves you have how they view their sp 
And again, love in general. Some of y'all just need to look at love in general as well. Some of you guys have terrible beliefs, whether you already have an SP or not. Some of you guys have terrible beliefs about love in general. Oh, all men are liars, all men are cheaters. Do they still have the dating app on their phone? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. You have to change that because you would not be thinking that. In a healthy, committed relationship with your person or in contact with your person or having amazing, amazing suitors coming to you, courting you, wanting to take you out every single day in that reality. So now that you have that person, your only job from here on out is to bridge the gap between this mindset that you hold that is in despair, that doesn't know their worth, that doesn't know their power, that doesn't know they're in control or who is denying it, I should say. And the version of you who knows all those things and more, who is not waiting for a specific person to text them back who is not waiting who is not praying they don't get unmatched because they feel like they just found their soulmate and they're like but i hope they don't unmatch me because i'm not good enough no you're bridging that gap so your only job from here on out is to change your thoughts beliefs behaviors and attitudes i want to talk about behaviors for a minute when i say behaviors i have a video on low self-concept behaviors some of these videos i'm probably not going to have enough space in the little tabby thing to put them all so if i don't get to put a video in the little tabby thing it's going to be in the description it's going to be like honorable mentions here are some videos that i mentioned but can't put in that section so when we say low self-concept behaviors we are saying a lot of you guys are in this dynamic where you have a fear that if I don't do this, I'll lose my SP. That's your whole thing. It will always go back to self-concept. It will always go back to you seeing separation. You're saying, I'm scared of my own mind. I'm scared of my lack of changing my thoughts. If you're scared of anything, if you're scared of being ghosted, if you're scared of SP moving on and finding people, if you're scared that we're in no contact, they're probably doing this, that, and the third with somebody else. You're scared that if I don't say yes to their late night linkups, even though I don't want to they're gonna find somebody else to do it again does that sound like somebody who knows their worth and value no so, so when you say i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared sp is not saying to you in this current moment that's what i'm doing if you don't accept my breadcrumbs i'm going to leave you you say that to yourself because that is how powerful you are you can tell yourself any story and you will literally step into that identity like this. A lot of times though, it'll be for the negative things instead of the positive things. If I say, well, no, just say your SP is like literally head over heels about you, would never look at anybody else, has nobody else even crossed their mind because you're the best thing they've ever seen, heard, talked to, whatever. You're like, no, but they are, but they're doing this, but we're in no contact, but how? But he said this, but I'm blocked, but the see, see? This is why we have to change you. As long as you're going to keep creating defenses to stay stuck, then you will always be stuck because that is how powerful and in control you are. By this point, you should already have worked on your self-concept. This is why I cannot preach anything other than identity change work, self-image slash self-concept because it is literally what is affecting you from believing in yourself. I don't think I'm good enough, so how can you sit here and tell me SP thinks I'm good enough? Exactly. You cannot view reality higher than you view yourself, so that is on you. We're going to talk about the second part. Like I said, the first part is coming up with that new identity, and then the second part was implementing it, but behavior is really quick. So those are the low self-concept behaviors, right? So a lot of you are afraid of that whole narrative like i don't want to lose them so you do behaviors that reinforce that identity of yourself right like you're saying yes to the link ups you don't want to go to you are literally stalking them driving by their house stalking them on social media looking at their ex-girlfriend looking at their ex-wife looking at their baby mom looking at their baby dad like triple texting them sending the paragraphs even if you're in a relationship but you just want to change that dynamic and they're not showing up favorably you're like blowing up their phone you're having screaming matches with them you're leaving threatening voicemails like you're doing all the low self-concept things right does that okay this is this is why i said have the identity this is the importance of thinking of the version of you you would be is the version of you who is receiving what they want from sp are they engaging in those behaviors are they even thinking about doing those behaviors no and not because they're with sp but because they are the version of themselves identification wise who is with sp manifestation is identity selection you're in this current situation because your identity matches the situation you're in you stalk them you beg them you get a match on a dating app and you're like oh my god let me say something so then they stay with me i'm telling you right now there's no action you can take to make somebody like you there's no action you can take to change a dynamic change happens with them then because out of fear a lot of you guys on these little dating apps you're afraid that this person will unmatch you so out of fear 
you're like, oh, let me let me say something. And then they unmatch you because what you believe trumps any action you take because you don't see yourself as the perfect match, as everybody wants to match with me. You see yourself as they don't want me and I have to make them. What part of that screams I'm with them? You have to understand that there is nothing you can physically do to change their mind because your stories are mental. Physical doesn't change the mental. And even if they were showing up perfectly, so many of you guys self-sabotage it because your stories are still terrible. This is where the second part of the creating the identity and then reinforcing it, this is where those techniques come in. So I don't care if you like to affirm, I don't care if you like to visualize, I don't care if you want to meditate, I don't care if you want to do the sleep tapes, I don't care if you want to do the slow notes, I don't care what you want to do. And to my point that I was saying earlier, a lot of you guys will do these techniques and exhaust yourself because you're trying to force this person to be different. And I cannot stress this enough for like the fourth time the, the only thing you're doing is bridging the gap between this current version of you who is trying to force their specific person to be different even though they don't want to change and the version of you who is not doing that bs and has their connection because that version of you would not be trying to force nobody to do nothing because they already are right so you're changing who you are internally not externally i'm not one of them dating coaches that say you have to wear this your hair has to be this color you have to dress like this you have to smell like this you have to buy this you have to do this no you have to change who you think you are you think you come in last you think you're a last place you think you're second best you think you're not capable not worthy you think you're always getting cheated on you think you're always going to get unmatched you think you're always going to get ghosted like what part of that screams i have a stable connection with somebody absolutely none with that being said you have to change your story of yourself number one because as long as you think you are the undesired girl or guy out here you're never going to sustain anything this is where you come in so, so you can either do it one of two ways again you think of that higher version of you and you think what do they think about themselves right i they i are i am wanted loved chosen there is nobody better than me I am the best in my reality. I come in first place. I'm everybody's first choice. I'm everybody's top priority. Everybody wants to be with me. I get love offers left and right. The person I want wants me, right? We're changing the narrative. Instead of you desiring this person, instead of you breaking your back for this person, instead of you putting yourself down here and putting this person up here, we're changing that your specific person is the one that desires you. Don't think of a desire as something that is unattainable. I have to break my back to get it. It's out of reach. A desire is only your brain alerting you and saying, hey, this person wants to be with you. So you better start thinking that so it can happen. But a lot of you guys get a desire and you say, I just got a desire. How am I ever going to get it? Exactly. Desires 99% of the time don't make sense to your current circumstances. And that is the exact reason why circumstances do not matter is because it's not going to make sense to this current version of you you want a healthy dynamic but don't think you can have it think you're toxic think they're toxic think you guys will never have a it doesn't make sense right that's why you have to change because it has to make sense to you that of course sp is in love with you of course you guys are together of course they would break their back to be with you of course heaven and earth will split open just for you guys to be together of course there is no other way other than you guys being together it doesn't make sense to this current version of you that is why we're doing the self-concept work is so that it makes makes sense to you like two plus two equals four makes the most sense. it's the only answer that's what this connection this person your love life has to be to you the only answer is me ending up with this person or is me having a beautiful love life is me going on vacation going out of the country with the person i want to go with correct so, so for that reason you are changing yourself this is why the only focus is you because the only reason again they want to do these things already so you're not getting them to do anything because they already want to they are you pushed out but because you are more powerful than them you always will be and your stories of them is they are not the person i want they are not being good they're looking at other people they never talk to me we have never talked we have never met you're bombarding them they cannot beat you they're not higher than you. So first of all, for you to have somebody who will never be in control on a pedestal over yourself, the person who is in control, is absolutely insane. But for that reason, you are changing the stories of yourself. But that's why I create the identity. That's why we said create the identity because you're always going to be referring to your identity. When you want to react, when you want to check, when you want to stalk, when you want to complain about their behavior, when you want to complain about them, just know you're doing it about yourself. You're complaining about your own stories. Oh my God, they are so stubborn. 
you're just reaffirming it to yourself like if you're going to type in the comments they're this they're that they're not even being anything in this current moment because in this current moment you're watching this video I, I would think you're not in a conversation with them physically in this current moment you're hearing me right now saying stop doing the low self-concept behaviors because it is keeping you stuck if you guys want to complain about something that's not happening if it is not happening in this present moment it doesn't exist if it is not happening in this present moment any story that you're telling is one that you're carrying around is one that is stuck in your mind you're gonna come up here and say well they're doing this they're doing this not in this current moment that is you bringing the past to the present and that's why a lot of you guys have not seen any changes is because number one you're operating from separation they're not my thoughts they're not my thoughts they're just a bad person that's not true they are your thoughts and for that reason they're going to keep showing up like that it's because you keep engaging in behaviors that reaffirm that you keep looking for them to validate a story that you're not telling they cannot do that you are in control which leads me into my second point which is changing the stories you have of them now that i have stressed the importance of working on yourself and i hope you take that seriously because until it is two plus two equals four to you you're not going to get the person to change and the reason why is because you think you're getting someone to do something because you're denying you're in control as long as you view yourself as last place. What sense does it make? I think I come in last place. And I my stories are creating my reality. And my stories are deciding how this person shows up or people show up. How do you think you're going to be able to sustain a story that says this person views me as number one first place? If you view yourself as last place and the stories you have about yourself are a direct reflection of the stories you're going to have of them. It's like teaching somebody a language you don't know. You don't know what it's like to be first place in your own mind because the person is just a mirror you're going through. It's an illusion to think they're separate and you think you're going to be able to have the thoughts that they think that you are first place when you don't even have the thoughts. It's foreign to you. You don't know what that means. That is not two plus two equals four to you. So change it within yourself please and then we're changing the stories about our person now one thing i want to go over is third parties oh my god oh my god oh my god i've honestly probably third parties have existed probably twice or once or twice in my whole journey because i don't believe in them like third parties are just a reflection so when i say third parties i never really manifested one in it was like i met somebody they were with somebody which i didn't even know at the time and then if i did okay there was one time i didn't know at all and then i found out that was the sp i was telling you guys about earlier that i met them once didn't have a contact and then i manifested to run into them randomly after like a year of meeting them for the one time for like five minutes and then they were like, yeah, at the time I was with somebody, but I'm not now, which I didn't know. And then the second time I met them, didn't know, but somebody told me that they were with somebody. They had, they were with somebody. And I just, in my head, like, I'm so far beyond, like 3D doesn't phase me, circumstances don't matter. And I know that because I know how I create. So I just knew by the next time I saw them, which was like three weeks later, they weren't going to be with them and they weren't. And then that's, so that was my second time. So the second time I saw them, they weren't with the person anymore and they were all about me. So for me with third parties, you guys stress about them. Like you're not creating them. Like you're not keeping them in your reality by focusing on them. I, I don't focus on third parties and that's why they don't last. Nothing you don't keep focusing on can last. What is lasting, what keeps being there, I don't care if it's the version of the SP you don't like, I don't care if it's a third party. A third party is basically just another person who is in the way, is illusioned to be in the way of your manifestation. It's because that's where your focus is. That's all you care about. That's all, like, like for a lot of you guys, you'll hear or see a third party and then instead of your manifestation now being, oh, changing my story so that me and SP are together, your main focus is getting rid of third party. And that should never be a thing. The third party is a manifestation of your thoughts. If you thought you were a number one first place, it's me or nobody, and that was your two plus two equals four, they wouldn't be there because you're in control. So third parties are number one, a product of a low self-concept. You're fighting with your own narrative that somebody is there because that's what you believe deep down. So you always have to refer back to yourself and get rid of that story. People break up every day. And if you close your eyes or think to yourself or have the desire to be in a relationship with this person who has a third party, again, refer back to that person who is with them. Refer back to that identity of you, refer back to that avatar. Are they worried about third party? No, because third party doesn't exist in that reality. So if you believe you are moving towards that reality, what's third party? 
what third party what third party literally a third party cannot exist if you don't keep entertaining if you don't say they're there like why don't you guys believe they're literally having a, a, a breakup argument right now they're literally breaking it right now right now and then on top of that is like i said i don't even focus on like i've never focused on that in my life why would i focus on a relationship that is not mine why you guys focus on a dynamic that is not yours third party and whatever your sp that is not your dynamic Focus on your dynamic. Two plus two equals four. I am with SP now no matter what. No person on this universe will ever get in the way of that. Heaven and earth will split open for me and SP to be together. Why is that not the story? Change it right now. Change it right now. Change it right now. That's your story. And I don't even like to say like, trust that third party is leaving. This isn't like a game. You're the one who says they're there. Stop saying that. And then only focus on your dynamic with specific person. And fix your self concept for the love of God. Because as long as you think you're last and somebody else will be first, you're going to have a hard time believing that third party is gone if you think this is where third party is and this is where you are. And then this is where SP is all the way up here. And he's choosing the next thing under him, which is third party. If that's your current self concept, change that's first because the only reason that is happening is because you have a story that says they're there back to story of your specific person remember no separation they are your stories of them and whatever story you have to tell is how they have to show up so you can either do the activity that you did with yourself with your seeing your avatar your higher version of you and do that with sp and then pull qualities from that or you can just say all right just right now what do you want from this sp who do you want them to be how do you want them to be like i literally just said 15 seconds ago i cannot trust this enough they are the stories you have of them you are not making them be this person we're not going to sit here and affirm for 60 days he is this he is this this she is this she is this she is this she is this because you're trying to create a broken version of them and trying to put the pieces back together there are no pieces to put together throw that version away and go to the store and select a new one imagine if every single thing we broke we had to sit here and fix throw it away throw it away you created it throw it away you don't like what you created throw it away okay now this is a completely new canvas a big white canvas completely free for you what do you want to be on it i want my specific person i don't care what you want them to do okay they're so apologetic they're so respectful they're so kind they're so loyal they're so amazing they're beautiful they treat me amazing we go on dates every day they love taking me out they love spoiling me we're doing this together they're bringing up the idea of marriage they're bringing up the idea of being engaged they're bringing up kids they're bringing up moving in together they're bringing up sleeping over because this is my thing like i said earlier with the low self-concept behaviors you don't even want that version of your relationship anyway you don't want to be with a person where you're literally waiting your whole life for them to text you back you don't want to be with a person where you have to reach out all the time you don't want to be with a person where you're trying to figure out ways to make them stay you want an equal equal two plus two equals four relationship right you want to know that's yours so this is why i said self-concept because when you already know when you already know that's what you deserve when you already know it wasn't even normal the whatever your old story was it wasn't even normal for you to be in that predicament in the first place when you know that it's not gonna be hard to accept this new reality so from there that's what you start saying and then you start envisioning sp like that so let's talk about 3d for a minute everybody's favorite topic my physical reality what if they're doing this what if they're doing this okay when you have that version of you again you're stepping into it just as quick as i say oh you can manifest your sp and you're like shut up what about this what about this what about this that's how quick you need to step into this new identity of you so i don't want to hear that you can't do it because you do it all the time with the negative reality so do it okay and then as far as this version of sp and you're like well they're this they're this like but how do i ignore and what about this what about this what about this when you have this version of your life reality i don't care what area outside of sp because it's no different with money it's no different with appearance change no different with health you need to tunnel vision your mind on the desire if it is not two plus two equals four then it is wrong same thing with your physical reality if it is not this version of this person that i just experienced or just created it is wrong and you guys have to stop being like uptight like you're in the military you can relax meaning learn to laugh at your reality 
<laughs> like it's actually comical like like i was saying with the person earlier when i met them like they were with somebody and people were like oh well he's with somebody though like da 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 it was comical to me like i laughed not in the sense that i'm gonna come up here and physically do like ruin their relationship i don't have to do that is the whole point i don't have to tell them to leave somebody i don't have to break somebody up that's why there's nothing wrong with it is because you're not manipulating you're selecting a version of their relationship or not even like i said i didn't i did not even focus on them because once i heard oh he's supposed to, who literally who i don't know that like for all i know people could be lying it sounded like people were lying i focus on what i want i don't care what the world says i don't care what the world wants from me i don't care what the world wants if, if it's not two plus two equals four if it's not what i know to be true for myself which is we are peanut butter and jelly we are together like this i don't want to hear it point blank period and from what i heard he left her <laughs> that's my whole point is that's how you have to be okay i've been affirming sp uh still has me blocked what, what is it gonna take i wish i could come through the screen and like i wish words were like tangible and i could rip that narrative out of your mouth because stop reality is the stories you're telling ask yourself with every single story you tell about the situation do i want that to manifest do i want that to materialize if the answer is no stop telling that bs story stop saying you're still blocked you are experiencing your old thought patterns but they're really not old because that's the reason you guys be like it's, t it's taking so long he still has me blocked no it's not taking long at all that's why it's still the same that's why you're still blocked is because that's what you still truly believe but anyways let's just say that was reality you have to learn to laugh at that <laughs> you have to learn to laugh like you're really gonna sit like i said i don't i didn't sit here and let some third party get in the way of who i find attractive i said i think that man's cute stop playing i said i want to be with this person i said i want marriage i said i want pregnancy with this person if your physical reality is contradicting that laugh that circumstance in the face while knowing you have no idea but you are literally thinking about me right now and you have no idea why and you're coming to me and i love that i love that i don't have to act i love that i don't have to be a victim anymore to my circumstances i get to create them and boo you can play but you're coming to me now right and you don't have to go out and manipulate them you don't have to say a word to them be mysterious be sexy like y'all be trying to force through too much oh let me text them let me text them and then you're like damn it didn't work now i feel worse exactly you shouldn't have been reaching out you shouldn't have been posting things on jealous uh, things on purpose to get them jealous one of my clients came on my live and said that they were like oh i post another guy on social media and sp stopped talking to me because i was trying to make him jealous and now it's like worse and i feel worse and i'm like exactly why'd you do that dumb stuff in the first place if you think you have to go to physical reality to get a certain experience experience you you are doing it wrong and you're nine out of ten it's not going to go your way because you're coming from a place of i have to see this and this is the only way and then i have to force myself i have to force this to see this and if it doesn't work i'm going to be upset stop go within see it happening in your mind see yourself with sp okay you just saw yourself with sp you just saw sp coming back to you. you just saw sp texting you you just saw sp calling you and then remember they already want to do those things all I have to do is stay faithful to that assumption, right? That's what Neville says. Stay faithful to your assumption and it must materialize. Again, it has to be two plus two equals four. Like it can't be like two plus two. Um, Is it six? Is it seven? Is it three? Like it has to be Bible for you. There is no other way. Like they're thinking about me right now. And to get out of impatience is you're stop the second you're saying i'm impatient you're separating yourself you're not waiting for anybody to change have you changed the answer is no if you're waiting if you're like oh i'm impatient it's because you're literally saying to me i still see them as this bad version i'm still taking 3d as fact i'm still operating by 3d instead of what i desire and i hate that so then stop doing it you're not waiting for anything i'd be impatient too if i was waiting for this the walls to be blue instead of deciding all right i want the walls to be blue that's what i'm gonna do and i'm not gonna wait for it i'm gonna do all that i can so that it matches what's in here so the desire that you want are you that version again always refer to that identity that we created that's it um that's all i have i think i covered all that i want to cover right we talk about third parties we talk about self-concept low self-concept behaviors creating a new story of your dynamic creating a new story of yourself we talked about 3d talked about a lot of things so if you also have questions after that this long video well self-concept when in doubt self-concept it out okay and with that being said that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like comment and subscribe remember you can have anything you want in this universe nothing's too big small water expensive i believe in you you should believe in you and i'll talk to you in my next video bye